All right, welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Storybook Brawl. Um, here we have Krampus, Charon, or Loki. Hmm, I quite like Krampus. I feel like he gives you a very solid early game, and then you can kind of pivot into like a a good evil late game comp um, with like a big health buffer because you had such a good early game. Um, Charon's interesting, not my favorite, but I think I'm gonna go with Lo Loki. Um, it just gives you the ability just to randomly high roll and hit something great. They also just updated him, so now he can cast targeted spells, so I'm pretty interested to get to play with him after the update. Alrighty, looks like we got for glory. So what's our best way to win this, this, uh, first turn? I think, and these all kind of suck. I guess I'll grab the chicken. Um, I don't think we're going to be winning with the chicken. We needed, like, a unicorn or something. So, yeah, we'll tie here. So, no for glory. That's all right, though. All right. Now, so we can sell this for two gold. That doesn't do a lot for us. We got another for glory off of Loki. Which is unfortunate, because we're really not getting strong units. Um... I could sell this to get another roll, and then we'll have to buy two units. And I kind of like that, because I don't think double polywoggle is going to do anything. Let's be a little bit risky here. And then we can grab the tree, and I guess blind mouse. Yeah. Maybe I should just grab two units there so I had three on the board. That was probably more correct. All right. Okay, see, Loki, Sugar and Spiced are happy little tree, which is pretty good for us, actually. I think I'm going to grab Baby Root and Labyrinth Minotaur. All right, so now we have way better stats on our board. A 2-7 and a 5-4 are much better than the 1-1 one, one and the 2-3 two, we had last turn. Um, in our lobby, we have Apocalypse, so we're going to have to watch out for them. Their late game is absurd. Um, and we might have to watch out for Geppetto mid-game. Uh, he can go kind of crazy. And I think now is a good time to bring up... I don't do this very often, but I'm really enjoying making these videos. And if you guys like what you see, uh, liking the videos, subscribing, leaving comments would be great. And if you don't like what you see, leaving comments to tell me what I can do better would actively uh, help the channel and help me make content that you actually do want to see. Um, anyway, back to the game. We attack with our happy little tree. This is looking pretty good for us. I think we'll come out on top of this one just on the merit of having such big butts on these guys. We do, denying them there for glory, which is great because we denied ourselves too earlier. We get another sugar and spice on Happy Little Tree, which I'm pretty happy with. And then I'll take a Romeo because if we find a Juliet later on, um, I think we'll be happy with having this, you know? And then let's just grab a Lonely Prince, I think. Well, this is where it's kind of hard, right? I can grab a guaranteed 3-3, or I can grab the Lonely Prince that might be a 5-5 five five next turn and have actual future synergy with what we're doing because we, we seem to be kind of going in a good direction. I think I'm going to go for the long-term game games and grab the uh, Lonely Prince. Okay, up against Dracula. Quantum Feline, that's a cool name. All right, couple of trade-offs at the beginning. I think we're coming out on top here. It's always good whenever one of your units can attack and kill one of theirs and then be attacked by and kill another one. It's like a two for one. And we turned our Minotaur good, so we're definitely doing good things at this point. I kind of want to grab this Unicorn, although we're halfway through level three, so maybe that's not what I need to be doing. Um, I like Ogre Princess, but we don't have much of a way to support her. Although, with this Lonely Prince, it's probably better just to grab her. And then, I like Lucky. Where do I put Lucky? I guess here? Hmm. Maybe something like this. That way I'm giving toughness to my Slay creature and this one toughness guy. 
Although I guess he has more toughness now because of uh, Beauty's influence. And then we have these five power creatures in the back. I'm feeling pretty good about where we're at. All right, now we're gonna have a chance to see what uh, Apocalypse is up to. It doesn't look like they've lost too much. Okay, so they're doing evil black cat shenanigans with the Queen of Hearts. Unfortunately, they do get a slay off of us. Okay, we're gonna see the mummy finish off our Minotaur. All right, so I'm thinking we almost certainly lose this one. Yeah, we just don't have the power to punch through this queen. That's all right. They're very good, very strong. So we're gonna have to watch out for them. Um, I'll take a free Cinderella, sure. Thank you, Lucky. And then let's roll. Um, might as well grab this, right? Maybe I could triple it. Same here. Okay. So I can sell this for this. Do I want... So we don't have any questing... Well, I guess we have Cinderella. <clears throat> I don't know if that's worth it, though. Ring of Regeneration could buy us a lot of time. And then Jack's Jumping Beans helps us. I think Noble Steed, though. Like, if we can find um, the Triant to level 4, Lancelot. Like, there's a lot of different things we can find and be good in this composition. So I think I'll take the Noble Steed. And then we can just keep Cinderella tucked in this corner. And whenever it comes down to actually getting the trophy offer, it'll be level three, which is way better than level two. So kind of like taking future things under consideration. Uh, this is a loss for us. They just had a very strong front line. I'd like to win for one, one of these for glory turns. Um, we do get a Juliet, which is really, really nice with our Romeo. And then here's a questing unit. So we'll grab her. I don't think I want the Shadow Assassin. Okay, there's another Juliet. Can I get her this turn? I think I can. Excellent. Okay. So we're not in the best place in the world. However, this is a huge step up from where we just were. And we kind of have a direction. We're looking at Prince Princess things. Although we're not all the way in on that. So like we could pivot into um, friendly spirit stuff into good boy stuff um and we're not locked on good things really so we could grab some evil units too if we need to like uh rotten apple tree or medusa so i kind of like where we're at i wish we had some more relevant treasures but i think noble steed is going to pay off in a couple turns um hopefully it can just help us push into the late game with some really strong treasures okay up against horde dragon who, they're kind of scary with this ancient sarcophagus and the mummy. We do get a slay here, which is great for us. It looks like we're losing, oh well actually we have uh, Juliet, I forgot about that. Although now we do definitely lose, unfortunate. All right, so we'll grab a Romeo. So now we get double Juliets. There's a friendly spirit. I know I mentioned moving in on friendly spirit stuff, but I don't think we have the stuff to support it right now. I really want to find more Prince Princess things, I think. Like Court Wizard is a good pickup here. Probably just better than Baby Root at this point. And then we can run another Juliet here. Well, 315 is probably better, huh? I don't know. That's, that's, that's a tough call. Uh, let's roll again. All right, nothing crazy there. Okay, well, we've got a lot of stats, right? Because 
Juliet's going to die and then come back as a 14-14 twice. So that's 28 extra of power and toughness on this board that's not visible. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, it might be kind of hard to beat at this point. We are just hitting level 4. We'll have to see what Geppetto has going on though. They are in first place, which is kind of scary. We just we need a little bit of time for these uh, questing heroes to go off. All right, that's good for us. We need to watch out for this donkey. Ah, lots of people with the ancient sarcophagus today. Man, losing Romeo there really hurt us. Yeah, we we're not even close to winning this fight. Brutal. Okay. We've got to find some stabilizing force. That's pretty good. Uh, Ring of Rage is nice. I kind of like your characters have plus three health. But now let's do Ring of Rage because we have a ranged unit in the back and Brave Princess needs help slaying. Honestly, it might be time to give up on Brave Princess. Because by the time she finishes, if she gets to slay next turn and the next turn, we'll be halfway through level 5. Hmm. Friendly Spirit's pretty good. I guess I'll go ahead and grab that for now. It's just a good unit to have on the field. Um, I think I will swap these. Maybe I should do it this way. That way, if we get fireballed, they don't both die. Yeah, we'll run it this way. And the next turn, we'll get a treasure off of Cinderella. Alright. Going up against Mad Hatter. Alright, Friendly Spirit down. But on to our Brave Princess, which is pretty good for us. Looks like we will get a slay with her. Alright, that's good for us. Man, everyone's on the uh, Evil Queen stuff today. Kind of wish I found that good book that uh, grows your good characters whenever they kill an evil character. Alright, we do win. We're in a rough spot. We're pretty low on health. Alright, so <laughs> we could also have the Ancient Sarcophagus. Um, however... So we don't have many Slay characters. I'm just going to grab Power Orb. And then we are 100% taking this Fairy Godmother. Um, and I guess replacing a Romeo with her. Hmm. Okay, Baby Bear is interesting. Because he's very good with Fairy Godmother. And with Ring of Rage, and with Power Orb. So, can I sell for that? I can sell these two, and... The Princess just needs more, but we're already way past uh, level 4 treasure, huh? We're against the, the Ghost. I'll leave her in for now. Sell, sell... sell. I'm not in love with that idea. But we need to do something, right? And I like having Baby Bear on the comp. Alright, so we do get a slay. So maybe now we can get rid of the, rid of the steed. Alright. Godmother is a great way to stabilize in these type of games. I'm really glad we picked her up. I would love to triple her. Alright, we have a reduplicator. Grab this. Cupid's a cool way to cheese people out, but I don't think we're quite to that point yet. Another baby bear. Alright. 
So <clears throat> now we've got baby bears going. Um, they're benefiting from Ring of Rage and Power Orb. Although it just occurred to me that Reduplicator with Juliet is probably the best thing we can do, but we do have two baby bears, so maybe this is a mistake. We should probably look at getting off the baby bears eventually, but for now, they're doing really well with Fairy Godmother to you know stabilize and make sure we actually have some toughness on our board. <sighs> Up against Galahad, they wrecked us last time, so we'll have to see how this goes. Okay, Galahad, show us what's up. Okay, we killed their vampire, which is nice for us. We need to watch out for the siren in the back. They do have two mummies. Oh, that's a cool way to use copycat. Okay. Well, we've got a lot of toughness thanks to Godmother. They did kill our bear, which is unfortunate. Okay, we win. Awesome. So we're being the second place person, even at 10 health. Okay, we'll triple the baby bear. That's a level 5 trophy for us. Ambrosia might be what we're looking for. Like, making Godmother tripled is, like, really, really huge for us. And then uh, later on, we can put Romeo there. 100% doing that. And now we get to roll a bit. And actually just triple Romeo. Uh, nothing I want here though. And now... I guess just put a friendly spirit in that spot. I'll put it behind the baby bear. So when the baby bear dies, it buffs the spirit. And the spirit can die and then buff something else. And then I guess we actually have some more gold to spend. I didn't think about that with skipping that treasure. Um, we can grab Cupid. Is Cupid better than Court Wizard? And I guess at this point it kind of is, since we're off like a full princess comp. So I can see moving in that direction. Let's try that. Cupid's also really nice with uh, Godmother because it just gets to be unkillable. So we'll get to see how this works out. Okay, up against Apocalypse. They were very strong last we saw them. And they are incredibly strong now. Yep. Wow, they rolled in just a full evil board with double Pumpkin King? That's absurd. And our Romeo's dead because of Ancient Sarcophagus. Yeah, they rolled really well. I do not see us coming back from this one. Well... This was indeed an apocalypse. <laughs> yeah, they just got a full board. Like, we're so dead here. It's not even funny. Yeah, goodbye, cruel world. All right, well, GG's. That's the power of the new hero, Apocalypse. They, they hit level six, and they can just completely take over a game. I kind of wish I could stay behind and see who wins that match. Um, Geppetto and Apocalypse both were pretty scary. Um, so fifth place, not too bad. Um, we kind of had trouble stabilizing in the middle. Like, we just lost so much health early on, just constantly losing fights because we were rolling such small creatures. Um, I feel like we were in a good direction, but we really needed to hit level six. We needed to find uh, good boys and that kind of thing. We just didn't quite get there. Like, imagine if this was a good boy and this was a bear sting. Then our team was like, just absurd, right? So, it is what it is. Uh, it was fun. Good games. And thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.